Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how you can import a private GitHub project into Google Colab using deploy keys. Okay, so the reason why you might want to do this is you have some kind of project and you want to use the free compute on Colab. However, this is a protected project and I'm going to show you a way that you can now import your projects without ever having to worry about passwords and for it to still be safe. Okay, so today what we're going to do, we're first going to start by creating a uh, private GitHub project. So you could probably skip this if you're pretty familiar with these things. We're then going to generate and upload our deploy keys on GitHub. And finally, we're going to integrate this uh, all to Google Colab and even to Google Drive. OK, so I'll show you. Essentially, we're going to add these keys to Google Drive and we'll be able to fetch them from from our drive to Colab and have this be done automatically every time we log in. OK, so let's get started. First things first, let's just uh, create a project. Okay, so I'm just going to call this my secret project. And we're going to go into this secret project. And uh, this is just going to be something really simple. So essentially here, what we're going to just do is print, you know, my super secret project. And that's it. So now if I run the script, it just prints, you know, my super secret project. So that's all we want to do. So now we're going to go to GitHub and we're going to actually create a new repository. And so we're going to create this as a, a private repository. So here we have my secret uh, project and we create this as a private repository, create a repository. So now it gives us all of these things. Um, so we're going to use this to actually go ahead and push our project. So let's go back here. Let's just initialize this as a Git repo. Um, and now we can add this, commit this file to say my first secret commit. And now we'll just use, uh, just this one time, you know, the command that GitHub gives us so that we can push this up. All right. So, so far, essentially all we've done is we can go check out our, uh, our page here. If we refresh this, oops. So you can see here, we have um, our first commit in our file. So we just have, you know, print my super secret project. So that's all. All right. So now let's go to Google Colab. Okay. And if we go to Google Colab, uh, just a brand new Colab. So let's try to actually clone this code. So let's just make sure that we cannot clone this code. So git clone, you know, try to clone this thing. And it's going to tell us, no, uh, we actually don't have the repository rights. Okay, so let's just like, first of all, I'll just disconnect, delete, make sure that like this is all completely from scratch. Okay, so now let's try that again. So git clone. It's going to connect, initialize, you know, and it's going to tell me, nope, you cannot do this. Obviously, it's a secret project, so that's a good thing. You know, you could even try it through HTTPS and it shouldn't work. All right, so now let's look at how we can actually go add some uh, deploy keys on here. Okay, so if we go to settings, you will see here there is a thing called deploy keys. Okay, so you can see here there are no deploy keys. You can check out our guide on deploy keys. So we'll open this guide. I already had it opened here, so we'll close it. And it just tells you all uh, you know, the pros and cons of using deploy keys. So uh, look this up, but essentially, these are the nice things. So first of all, you don't have to mess around with anything and deploy keys are read only by default. So you essentially, the bearer of the key, whoever has this can just read this uh, whenever you want. And another really nice thing is that you can just essentially revoke these keys at any point, okay? Now, be sure to read through all of these things, but essentially here are all of the pros and cons. Now, the first thing that we need to do, GitHub doesn't actually do this for us, is uh, set up the actual keys. So we're going to generate our own keys. So here we're going to open this in a new tab. And it's just going to explain to you how to generate a new key. So I'm actually going to do this locally and show you how this happens. Okay, so if you type this command here, I'll remove that dollar sign. And I'm going to actually just put my email instead. So here I'm going to generate a uh, public key. By default, it wants to put this into SSH. But for this project, I'm actually going to put it just in place. So I'm going to name it IDED255525. 
255519. Okay, so just be sure we don't have a typo here. Yeah, so this looks good. Enter the passphrase, I'm gonna keep it empty, keep it empty again. And now you can see here, I've generated two keys. So this is my private key, which you should keep safe. And this is the public key that actually anyone can see. So I'm just gonna print the contents of the public key. And this is what I am actually gonna tell GitHub uh, to upload as my public key. Okay, so I'm going to just copy this, go to GitHub. And now here, we can actually add our deploy key. Right, and here we're gonna say secret secret key or secret project or whatever. Okay, so um, we're not gonna allow write access this time around either. So we're just gonna add this as uh, our key. And you can see that it's never been used. And this is the really nice thing. If at any point I think that someone took over my keys, I can just delete this. Okay, so now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're actually gonna upload this to Google Drive. So I've created here a folder just called deploy keys. And so let's open uh, our finder window here. And so I'm gonna upload both of these keys to my drive. Okay, so why am I doing this? This is because I don't wanna have to regenerate these keys over and over and Google Colab is already linked to my drive. So essentially by having these two things linked, I can now just go to Google Colab and I should be able to copy these keys every time from my drive. Okay, so let's just make sure that I have access to my drive. So I think you have to explicitly tell it to connect to Google Drive. Yeah, so I have to mount my drive. So connect to Google Drive. It's gonna take a second. All right, so now I'm connected to my drive and I can now go and copy these keys. So deploy keys. All right, I have to go into my drive and then deploy keys. And then here I should have, you know, my, uh, well, let's just complete this. So put both of these keys and we're gonna put them on the SSH folder of this actual machine. Okay, so we're gonna copy these things into here. So let's run that. And now, so you can see that I have my keys inside uh, uh, inside my machine. Okay, so the next thing now that we need to do is we need to tell my machine that we actually trust GitHub. Okay, so for this, uh, I'm just going to copy a code snippet that I uh, that I already had. Um, so, which you can also copy yourselves as well. But essentially, this tells my machine you can add GitHub as some kind of thing that you trust. Okay. Now, if we want to actually test that our connection works just fine, okay, that GitHub actually uh, is communicating with our server via SSH, here we can just do sshht git at github.com, and this should actually see, see, it actually knows even who I am. So it says, um, I've su successfully authenticated to this project because it knows about my key and it knows about my public key. So this is pretty cool. And now I can just run this clone command again and this should actually clone this project and you can see that I now have access to this project so it clones it under uh, my secret project and in fact let's just check it out if I run Python my secret project main.py you can see now it's printed okay so this is really cool but now one thing that's even cooler is uh, now that I have all this, let's let's disconnect this whole thing. But because I've actually saved those keys in my Google Drive, okay, I don't need to run a password any any time ever again. So I can now uh, every time I load this collab, I'll just make sure that my drive is mounted, copy these files over. So we're just going to wait here. Uh, but you essentially add this as a one-liner to your um, to your collab, and that's it. So let's just wait for this thing to mount and I'll show you. So, oh yeah, it can happen sometimes for some reason that you don't have the SSH directory. If you don't just create it. Okay. And uh, now we just follow these steps again. There you go. 
hit clone, cloned again, and now you see you have my super secret project. So now actually I can deploy this project and if at any point I feel like I am not comfortable anymore with these keys, well, I can manage my keys directly from my repository. So I can delete this at any point. So you can give this, let's say, to other developers, you can share these keys with people you trust, but if for whatever reason at some point you think, okay, let's remove access to these keys, you're the one in control. So you never had to give a password to this repository, you never had to give write access to this repository, all you had to do was just create this key. All right, so I hope this helps, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll upload this notebook as well so people can use it. Thanks for watching.